Hello guys, welcome to Selenium WebDriver tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how you can handle JavaScript alerts on any web page. So in the previous tutorial, we have gone through the code and we have understood the methods that are available in Selenium WebDriver to handle the iframes. If there are iframes on a page, how you can handle those. Now, the example that we took had the JavaScript alert as well. So uh, we need to handle those JavaScript alerts as well before we can, you know, um, proceed with further with our scripts or do further actions. Because if there is any JavaScript alert on a page that pops up, you need to handle it and we'll understand how you will be able to handle those JavaScript alerts with your Selenium WebDriver script. So let's go back to the documentation for now here. If we go to the documentation of uh, the Selenium Java and we'll go to the first interface that we have seen, right? So the uh, web driver interface and we'll understand from there. So web driver interface, we had understood certain methods that are available, right? So method that we used to switch the frame was switch to. Okay, and the return type was the target locator. So if we go to the return type target locator, we'll see the uh, method summary of the this particular target locator web driver target locator interface. So there are the methods um, like handling the frame. So we have used frame uh, handling frame by index in the previous tutorial, then uh, by name or ID or by storing that particular frame in the web element, uh, you know, variable and then switching to parent frame. Now, if we go through our code, this code that we have written in the last tutorial, so we have switched to a frame that is present on the page, right? So for example, here, if we go to this particular um, page, then we know that if we inspect this particular section, this section basically starts with the, you know, frame, iframe right so the tag is iframe and that's how you will identify whether the page contains frames or not if there are tags with iframe in the page in your html page then you have the iframes or frames within the page and frame is nothing but it contains uh, a separate or uh, a different html so here you can see a frame within a frame you can have the child html or, or separate html document within the parent document so this is the parent html and within the same parent HTML, you can have child HTML or uh, the, the you know, um, another set of HTML document within the page. So uh, once you are on this page, right? So we switched to this page, we clicked on this try it uh, button, and then this is the JavaScript alert that we used to get. Now we haven't handled this, we haven't clicked on okay. And then what we tried was we are trying to switch to parent frame, right? now with this particular code so we have clicked on the alert and alert got opened and without handling the alert so after this particular line we haven't handled we haven't you know clicked on the ok button of the alert and trying to switch to the parent frame do you think this code is going to work let's try to run and see what error we are going to get so let me run this and we'll get to know what exactly the error is and how we can handle that. So you will know in the error that uh, there is an alert already open and which hasn't been uh, handled. So let's see what the error is. So here you can see there is an exception and you can see unexpected alert open, right? So alert hasn't been handled. All right. So we need to handle the alert first before we can actually go ahead and switch to the parent frame and get the title, right? Now, if we go to the Java docs, so let me go back to the Java docs here. We, to handle the alert, you can see that there is a method within this, you know, web driver target locator interface, there is a method to handle the alert, right? So it switches to the currently active modal dialog for this particular driver instance, right? To handle the alert. And if we go to the alert, method then it returns the alert type okay so switches to the currently active and if we go to the alert right uh, interface so this in alert interface what are the methods in the alert interface you can either accept 
or dismiss or get text or send keys right so if you want to accept the alert you simply use the method accept if you want to dismiss you use the method dismiss if you want to get the text what is the text displayed on the alert you use the method get text and to send the text in the alert uh, so there might be some alert javascript pop-ups that require to enter some text on those alerts right so uh, then you can use send keys method to enter the uh, text in the alert so let's go ahead and understand these alerts uh, one by one and the methods that we can use to handle alerts in selenium web driver so let's go back here and now what i'll do is here because uh, we are trying to switch to parent frame without handling the alert so let's first uh, try to handle the alert okay so let's go to this one this link here so this is a simple alert the first one that will be you know uh, going through and in this particular alert the alert that will get popped up once we uh, click to handle that with we'll simply say driver dot switch to right so as we use switch to to switch to frame we'll use switch to method similarly to switch to alert right so there is an alert and then if you say dot it will return what are the methods to handle alert so it, you can accept you can dismiss right so we'll simply say accept and in this case it will accept the alert right to dismiss the alert simply use a different method and then we'll also try to get the text what is being displayed on the alert okay so we'll say driver dot switch to dot alert and then we'll say get text right so this will get the text that is being displayed on the alert and we can store if we go to the get text method it will return a string right so we can store it in a string variable so we can say uh, alert text right and then we can simply print it in the console or we can use you know a comparison method to verify that the alert that is being displayed is what is it it uh, is expected as part of our test case okay so let's try to run um, this again and see that we are getting the alert the alert being handled and then we are switching back to the parent frame and getting the title of the parent frame so it's opened the browser window it will maximize it yes it clicked on uh, the try it it handled it and then there is some error again let's see what exactly where uh, it has failed so okay so it said uh, no such alert present all right so it looks like there is some you know uh, we are trying to handle the alert okay so we have switched to the alert we have accepted it and then all right okay so we are, we are we have accepted the alert right and then we are trying to basically you know get the text of the alert which has already been you know accepted so what we need to do is we need to first while the alert is open we need to first get the text out of it right sorry so we'll simply uh, copy it so while the alert is open the first thing we need to do is we need to get the text print the text and then accept or dismiss the text uh, dismiss the alert right so that's that's why it failed so let's and what we'll do is we'll also put some sleep there so you can see the alert is getting opened and so i'll put some um, hard weight here so thread dot sleep uh, this is not a good practice but uh, to show you in action and uh, you know how the alert is looking like and you know how it is accepted or uh, dismissed i'm just putting this hard weight here so we'll simply run it now and this time it should be fine so it's opening the browser window it will click on the alert you can see the alert right and then it after two seconds it accepted the alert and now you can see that the text hello i am an alert box right so get text and it has printed the alert text which is alert, hello i am an alert box and then after two seconds it accepted the alert and then switched to the parent frame right so switch to the parent frame and got the title of the parent 
window right so this is the title of the parent window if you want to go back and see this is try it editor v3.6 is what the title of this particular page is right and we were not able to get this you know um, the parent window title without switching from this section this iframe to the parent frame right so that's why we need to switch to the parent frame first before you can uh, or web driver can do any operation on the parent frame so now we can see that we have hand we have understood the methods accept dismiss get text so to dismiss you simply need to change it to dismiss right so i'll just say if i don't want to accept the alert i want to dismiss the alert i'll simply use the method dismiss and the third and the last one the fourth one is basically to send keys so there are some alerts which are which require you to send the you know some you know like string so for example if we go to this particular page right on the same w3 schools and scroll down so you'll see the prompt method right so if you click on prompt method and this one so here you will see please enter your name and if i click on uh, try it and click on this you know uh, try it button right so i i it has a text box wherein i can enter the text right so to enter the text in this sort of uh, you know f javascript alert will use the fourth method that we have there so to send the uh, you know to send the keys or to send the text and then accept okay so let's try to use this send keys method as well in this particular alert so let me copy this url okay and use this in this example all right so i'll use the new url here so i'll switch to the frame i'll click on the try it button we'll get the text it will print the text and then so after uh, getting the text or maybe what i'll do is in this case um, i'll simply uh, say for example click not this one let's go back to this one so i'll click on the try it button then uh, enter some text here and then click on okay all right so how we can do that so we'll simply uh, we have copied the url so we'll go to that frame click on uh, that particular try it button okay and then let's remove all these lines from here and now after clicking on the try it button there will be an alert okay so how we'll handle that or we want to send some text on that alert so we'll say driver dot switch to right dot alert and then dot send keys okay so i'll say rcv academy okay so this is the text that i want to send in the alert and then i want to accept the alert okay so i'll simply say again switch to dot alert dot accept right now you can see that we are you know simply typing driver dot switch to alert dot you know switch to alert again and again um, so what we can do is we can simply store this into the alert right so if you see this alert if you hover over the alert method the return type is alert okay so we can create a variable of alert type so we'll say alert alert on page whatever name you want to give right and then we can simply copy this part and we'll say driver dot switch to dot alert and import the alert library okay now we can simply say alert dot alert on page dot send keys and alert on page dot accept right okay now this look, looks more clean okay so now what this will do is it will send the keys rcv academy into the alert box and then it will accept the alert after accepting the alert right we'll switch to the parent frame the same um, thing that we were doing in the previous uh, example and get the title of the parent frame okay now let's execute and run uh, execute and see it in action so uh, before that we want to switch the alert and then accept so let me uh, put some sleep uh, so i'll say thread 
dot sleep. So two seconds sleep I'll put, right? And then run. So this time it will open the alert which, which accepts the uh, text or string. We'll type in some text and then accept the alert, right? So you can see that the alert has opened and then it has been accepted and you can see hello RCV Academy, how are you today has been displayed, right? So that's how you will send the keys into any alert box, right? So if you go back on the documentation of alert, we have covered how you will be able to handle JavaScript alerts on any web page using Selenium WebDriver and the key methods that we have covered that are available in alert interface. So to accept the alert, you use accept method. To dismiss, you use dismiss method. Getting the text, you use get text and send keys to send the text in an alert box if the JavaScript alert accepts the string as an input. So that's pretty much all about handling alerts in Selenium WebDriver. Hope you like the tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.